Welcome back to another video guys. So today what I want to be talking about is how to fix the kernel power error on Windows 10. So recently I updated my Windows 10 and it's given me problems with the kernel power error and basically caused my system to freeze. Let me show you how to fix that. So there's going to be three things we're going to do to overall fix this issue on the computer. Number one is this. Open up a command prompt. If you don't know how to open up a command prompt, click on start down here and then type in command or CMD and it should come up saying command prompt with a black uh, box you right click and hit run as administrator always run command prompt as administrator because sometimes it won't be able to complete its processes so now that we're in here we want to type in fsc space scan no wait fsc space backslash scan now and then you want to hit enter this is going to be begin a system scan where it will look for the verification and basically do integrity checks for overall you know, registry corruption or registry issues, and it will fix them if it finds it. Okay. So let this run completely through. I'm not going to do it because it's going to take unnecessary time. And if you have an SSD, it's faster. The scans that I'm going to show you to do are faster than if you have a hard drive. If you have a hard drive, they're slower and it will take a bit of a bit of time for this actual phase part to come up than if you have an SSD. So, next thing, what you want to do, you want to right click, do this. The next command you can do is do capital D I S M then lowercase dot E X E space backslash online it's backslash clean up dash image and then backslash restore health. So you then want to press enter after doing this and this will this will go through a phase again if you have a hard disk drive this will take longer than an SSD as you can see with the SSD it's not going to take long at all um, so for an SSD person it won't take that long but for a hard disk drive this percentage part right here could take upwards to about a minute to appear so give it time. Once both these have ran the SFC scan now and this one that I showed you how to do the DISM online cleanup image restore health. If, those, if both of those have ran and it has not fixed your issue, I'm gonna show you the third thing that it might be in your system. So let's jump into that. So you click start down here and you type in power. Immediately go to power and sleep settings. Then you wanna to go to additional power settings over here to the right. Now it doesn't matter which one it's on balanced or high performance, whatever. You wanna click change plan settings next to whichever one you have it on. It'll bring this up. Then you want to hit change advanced power settings. And here was the issue right here for me. So go under here, expand hard disk, expand turn off hard disk after. And then the setting for me was 20 minutes. You want it to be never. So keep pressing the down arrow until it says never and then hit apply and OK. So basically what was happening here was I was playing my games and it was only while I was playing my games. And when I played my games, anything that was stored on a hard disk drive, I kept realizing and noticing that when I went to look at Event Viewer, there was a critical error saying my hard disk drive number three had been disconnected uh, from the drive, basically had been promptly disconnected from the computer. And every time that error displayed, my computer would always freeze. Well, the reason why was Windows after the Windows update that I did automatically set this back to 20 minutes. So I was able to play a game for 20 minutes when I was on that hard drive and then it would just disconnect the whole hard drive thus freezing my system. So that's what fixed my overall issue doing all three of those things. If you guys still have the issue and it's not fixed, I'm sorry, I wasn't able to help you. Uh, but if you guys were able and this was able to fix your issue, don't forget to hit the like button and some more people figure out how to fix this and I'll see you guys in the next video.